Hello, I'd just like to show you how to um, draw a tiered wedding cake. So I'm going to draw two tiered wedding cakes. First of all, like I did with any um, technical drawing, I need to make this quite accurate. And I'm going to divide the paper in half. And what you'd need to do is just draw a very, very faint line as a guideline. I'm going to draw it a little bit heavier with pencil so that you can see it on the camera. So I've now got my paper divided in half. I need the bottom tier of the cake. So for example, if the cake is eight inches, I need to um, divide, put the, the center of my cake in the middle. Approximately two and three quarter inches deep. I have got all the measurements in centimeters for you to use. And then going across. So a cake for um, the board for this size cake would be four inches bigger. So it's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now the paper is slightly smaller, so I'm using A3 paper. So. I'm going to draw it so it just goes off the edge of paper, but I'm going to label it to say that it's a 12 inch board. Half an inch deep. So, so far, I've got center line, 8 inches, 12 inch board. Two and three quarter deep. But I'll give you all the measurements in the PowerPoint. Um, now, what I then decided I need to decide is look at my rough sketches, design, and decide whether it's going to be a two tier, one on top of the other, or a two tier with a spacer, or a two tier with pillars. Okay. So if it's got pillars, then I do need to draw them. If it's got a space, then I need to draw them. If it's going, if it's a cake that's going straight on top, then I just need to draw the cake on top. So, um, five inch cake. So again, using that center line as a guide. Coming up from that center, and so that bottom tier. Sorry, you would do it. Um, if it was a real cake, it'd be two and a half centimetres, sorry, two inches, <laughs> I mean, it's off stuff. Um, if it was a dummy, you'll probably find that the top two is the same size as the bottom two. Same depth, they don't change the depths with dummies. Um, what you then need to do is, if it's a sugar paste cake, curve off those edges and rub off that point. And of course, I would rub out that center line, which is a guideline. So there you can see, I've got a two-tier cake, one on top of the other. Right, so what I'd like to do now is show you how to put a spacer on. So again, I've got the, the bottom tier of my cake, which is, just show you this side, um, bottom tier, the board, I've left the, the line on and that will give me guidance. So this is a guideline in the centre which I can rub out later. Um, so we'll just need to add a spacer. Now, it's up to you how deep you want your spacer to be. Um, and the size, you need to remember that the top tier of your cake is going to be five inches. Now, I will draw, draw that on first. So for example, if my spacer is going to be so two and a half centimetres. There we go. Um, I'm drawing up my five inch cake. Now usually with a spacer you don't have a board. The board would be 
the same size as the cake. Okay, so you wouldn't have a, a board that overlaps the cake when you do a spacer. So again, two and three quarters or two and a half. So it is up to you how deep you want the spacer to be. Um, and practically, you can have a spacer that's polystyrene, you can have a, um, a number of boards added together, so that's the, um, your choice. And then it's up to you what, what size you want your spacer. So for example, let's I'll just do a three inch across spacer. So you can see I'm measuring using that centre line all the time to make sure it's nice and accurate. Okay, so bottom tier, top tier spacer. If you want the spacer a little bit deeper or a little bit shallower, that's fine. Um, and just to recap on that, the board you would have the board under the cake, but you'd be the same size as the top tier. Okay. The other thing I want to do is show you how to draw colours. So you, you can buy pillars that are um, really tall and fine. You can buy them shorter, um, usually about two and a half inches. Um, so I'm going to measure two and a half inches from the bottom cake up to my second cake. And that cake is going to be five inches as we know. Don't worry too much about measurements here, I don't try and write them there because I have got PowerPoint with it on. So now with them, um, so that's my bottom tier, my top tier, and that's my board. With pillars, you do have a board on your cake, and obviously it's bigger. So that's a five inch, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'd be a nine inch board. And that board would be a drum board, so it'd be half an inch deep. So now I've got my cake, bottom tier, top tier. I need to round off those corners, rub off the point. So I've got bottom tier, top tier, both on board, and I need to draw the pillars in between. So I says two and a half inches, but you can do them larger if you want to, whichever looks good with the, the cake design. Now they need to go underneath this cake, so not underneath just the board, but underneath the cake. So perhaps um, I would put them halfway. So you can see I've got that centre line to the edge. So I would measure um, from there to there is obviously two and a half inches. So I need one and a quarter that way, one and a quarter that way. Yep. So I can just draw a line down as a guide, nice and light. And then depending on the thickness of your pillars, so if you, you want your pillars nice and fine, you could draw about, um, uh, about two centimetres. Um, um, well, you could go to as narrow as one and a half, or if you want them to be a little bit wider, you can go to two and a half centimetres. And if you would like to do a bit of research on pillars, then that'll give you the exact size. So you can go onto a, a cake shop or online shop, you can go Amazon, put K pillars in, and it'll give you the exact measurements. So I'm 
we're just going to draw measure what I've decided to do. And that then would represent the cake pillar. line can be rubbed out. And of course this centre line will be rubbed out as well. So you can see there I've got the board, the bottom tier, the pillars, the top tier board and the cake at the top tier. Okay. So I've drawn with pillars, with the spacer, and one on top of the other, so it will be your choice. Then we need to think about the top view of the cake. So I've got my centre line drawn here as a guideline, nice and faint. And what I then need to do is measure the cake. So I need to open my compass up to half. So it's half the measurement of the cake. And I'm going to start in the middle. So that is my cake line. And it's important you label these as you go so that you don't get mixed up. My cake line, um, which is eight inches. The, um, the board is 12. I'm going to go back into that, that mark I'll use for my compass. Now it will go off the page slightly. I'm not too worried about that. Um, the way you can get around it is by conjoining two pieces of paper together. But um, it's only slightly over, and what I can do is say that it's a 12 inch board. And then for a cake that's going on top of each other, like this one, I would then draw the top tier. So again, opening the compass up, so this is the radius. I'll open it up to the half of the measurement of the, of the cake that I want, so I'll get the correct size. So I've now got the top tier, the bottom tier, and the board. So I can um, then rub out that centre line, and I can show the decorations from the top, looking down onto the cake. That's a do different designs. So this cake design would have a spacer. Now, if it depends what you want to show on your design, but if you're you're going to show the decorations on top of the cake and perhaps on the board, then you would draw it like this. If I was going to draw the um, I put the flowers on the bottom tier going around the spacer for example then I would draw the top tier without that cake. So I would draw the, the board I would then draw Bottom tier, and you can see I'm using the same puncture hole as my paper. And then I would draw the spacer. So I'll go back, measure the size of the spacer. Measure half of that measurement. My compass. And draw that in. And I'd label it, so this is the board, this is the cake, and this is a spacer. So if, for example, I wanted to put flowers around the spacer, coming around the edge of the cake board, I can show the position of those flowers um, clearly. 
where if I drew it like this one, I wouldn't be able to show the drawings of the flowers very clearly. So if I wanted to, um, if I was going to put a pillars on my cake, and so I'm going to put pillars in between the two cakes, I need to show top views, but the top view on this one would be different. I would show top view of the bottom cake tier, and I'd show a, a top view of the top tier. And so for the um, bottom tier, I got my cake book cake and my cake board. What I then need to do is position the the um, pillars in between. So how do I do that? First of all, I need to. I've got this um, circle divided in half, and I need to divide it again into a quarter. So you place your compass onto the edge of the cake. And I'm using this line as a guide. You open your compass up and you do um, a guideline. You, you use the same measurement, so you don't close or open your compass, and you place it on the other side and you draw a line through. So you can see that where that line crosses, and I'll do it the other side, that will indicate exactly half or a quarter of that cake so I've accurately so I can draw another guideline going through the middle so I want a pillar in each section of this cake so what I'm going to do is divide this cake again so when I, I want to divide this section up so I put my compass onto the cake line and it doesn't matter where the measurement is, but as long as you don't change the measurement of the compass, I don't open it or close it. When I do the other side, it will give an accurate reading. And through that cross, through the centre, and out the other side. So that will divide it again. And I'm going to do this quarter. So now I've got this cake divided equally into eight. So you can see each portion. Now all these guidelines can be rubbed out later, but that will give me a guideline to, to help me draw the pillar. So I decided when I was doing this that my pillar from the edge of the cake to the center here, where the pillar was two and three quarters. And so that's what I'm going to measure two and three quarters, there. And I'm doing that four times. Just check the measurements again. Yeah, so that's the center of the pit. So there I've got four dots and I'm just going to use my compass, um, open the compass up to half of the circumference of the pillar, so from here to here I've decided my pillar is two centimetres wide, so I'm going to measure one centimetre in the compass, I think, um, yeah. And then I'm just going to draw it round. I think I just need to take the pencil down a little bit.
Okay, so now I've got the top view of the bottom of my cake with pillars, and I've got the board, the cake, and the pillars, and all these guidelines can be rubbed out. And then nice and easy for the top tier, top tier, we decided the board was going to be nine inches. So half a nine. And then the cake was going to be and that would be the top tier. So that's the board line, that's a cake line. 